Hi guys, I'm Carly from Bell's Books. I hope you're all doing okay in this crazy heat wave that we're having at the minute in the UK. It's been bonkers, I have not been coping, I do not like the heat. But today it is stormy and I'm very pleased about that. So the light may change because the clouds are coming past, but there's a nice breeze coming through my window, so that's good. Today I want to talk to you about a book I received from the publisher for review. I Am Sovereign by Nicola Barker. Now I did request this because I am studying Nicola Barker for my PhD. This book was published y yesterday um, and this is a proof copy. So I am going to talk to you about this book. I loved it. Now I knew that I would um, because I, I've loved Nicola Barker's Happy which I read first. I haven't actually read many of her other novels so if you have recommendations for those please talk to me in the comments below but this book i am sovereign is a book about being a book so it's very meta there's not much plot so if you're expecting that you're not going to get it the premise of the book is a 20 minute house viewing in landudno in north wales so we meet a bunch of four characters. We've got Charles, who's a 40 year old neurotic boutique teddy bear maker. He's the one selling his house. Then you've got Abigail, not Abigail, who's his um, estate agent. And she is fraught by him because he is not helping himself to sell this house. Like he leaves his clothes out on the dryer. He keeps talking about the burglary that happened 10 years ago to all of the prospective buyers. He's basically just doing a nutting. And then the scene that we're looking at is this 20 minute house viewing where we've got these two prospective buyers, mother and daughter. So we've got mother Wang Xu, who is constantly talking on the phone in Chinese and her very timid, um, socially awkward daughter Ying Yu, who does like most of the talking with Charles and Abigail. Um, so we go through this house viewing and it's just, it's a very odd scene and it just gets odder and odder and nothing really happens. But the, the things that do happen, like on, on, on the blurb for the book, they say that um, Wang Shu gets hit on the head by a falling oyster shell from a seagull. And it's just things like that that start happening that the characters go, what? What just happened? I didn't see that happen. And then you as a reader go, what? What just happened? <laughs> so the whole point of this book is that it makes you think about the book, the novel form, fiction, what language is, what we do with language. And it's super fun. Like it's, it's really hilarious. I love it when Nicola Barker does stuff with um, the text. She always like, well in Happy she does it a lot as well. Stuff like this. Where the text gets really big. Um, and there's some some real moments that made me just go, ha, do my Mrs. Crabapple laugh like this. Um, so it's super funny. And I the, my favourite part was right at to, towards the end of the book. I don't want to give too many spoilers. Towards the end of the book where the narrative completely breaks down and a fifth character turns up but then gets in dispute with Nicola Barker herself. So she comes in as the author and she's like... I don't like this character, he's doing his own thing. And then you as a reader go, what? She's talking directly, to, she, so she breaks the fourth wall and she talks directly to you. And there's so many themes in here and she's so clever with language. So there's just little things as well, like um, Abigail will say to Charles about the burglary that he keeps banging on about. She's like, well, how do you know she didn't she didn't do this or something to do with the burglar bit the burglar being female and charles is absolutely outraged it's like why on earth would she say that the burglar is female as if you couldn't possibly have female burglars <laughs> um and there's so much that goes on in here that questions assumptions that make you think about things so the characters are also questioning their own world what's happening and you as a reader are questioning what's going on and it's just, it's so clever. It's just super clever. And it's only a tiny book. It's, an, it's a novella. And she she calls it a novella in here when she's referencing it as she's writing it. Um, 
so this is the proof and there's i think there's less pages like there's just 200 pages in this proof copy um so it will not take you long to read and i suggest that you read it in one sitting as well because i think it lends itself to um a total consumption total consumption where you just sit there and take it all in and I, and I know when I go back and read this, I'm going to find so much more that's going on because I've just written down some initial notes from my first reading and gone, the, these are the themes that I see as coming out. Um, there's reflections from the characters about certain aspects of their life. So Abigail was brought up in a Hasidic Jewish community. She rebels against that. And um, Charles wears all these ironic t-shirts and he's a bit... OCD he's a hoarder he's generally you get the impression he's not coping with life Ying Yu as well she's very awkward and she sees herself as invisible she kind of is almost taken aback when people talk directly to her because she feels like she doesn't fit in so all of these characters don't fit in and they don't fit into the world around them and they don't fit in almost to the novel as well so it's fascinating there's so much going on in this little book and um, I know I'm going to get much more out of it when I read it again. But I would highly recommend it if you're after a super fun and not challenging. It's not challenging read. It's just, it makes you think. And um, yeah, it's, I think it's just a really important book. So I would highly recommend this. I Am Sovereign by Nicola Barker is published um, by William Heineman, Pe Penguin Random House. And it was out yesterday so i would highly recommend that you go and pick this up and i can't wait for our next book i saw a video um i just did a quick like little youtube search on nicola barker and i saw a video where she is being interviewed about her role as an author and she said this really interesting thing that was <laughs> she's also a slightly bonkers because she compared her compared herself to being a maggot <laughs> like she wants to get inside the minds of the reader and just change one little thing so she i think it's really important for her to um do something with her novels that make the reader question even just a little part of society or their assumptions or something um and i love that i love books that are about that and that's why i'm doing it for my phd so yeah definitely check it out um, it won't take you long to read and it's a super fun read. It's getting windy here now and it's raining So I better shut my window and Katie's just come in. She's melting. Poor old girl. She cannot cope with the heat either Katie Come here Katie's hot too. Good girl Okay, so that was my very quick review of I am sovereign by Nicola Barker and I'm going to go before all the rain starts coming in. So I will see you in my next video. Bye!